Hello guys, welcome back to this week's edition of When Americans Don't Really Pay Attention to the Directions. Okay, so Loki's laughing at me, all the gods are snickering. I, I've noticed that with our pagan gods, since we're in communication with them, they go right along with us misunderstanding the directions on something very cheerfully, especially Loki, full steam ahead, toot toot, and he's been singing... You know, proud to be an American by Lee Greenwood at like the top of his voice. Imagine a little fox backer waving a flag. Why? My dumb American ass mis misunderstood Marie Kondo completely. There's one line in that book I didn't understand until I was listening to it again today, thinking, well, I'm just a failure at this. And, you know, I keep telling you guys I have disabilities because I've been going so fucking slow. She says it takes on average six months to do this. On average, so that does mean a couple people managed to complete before six months, but a whole lot of people did not. It took them at least half a year. And I'm thinking, well, why the hell do you keep saying in one go, God damn it? if it takes six months, you should have said right first sentence, prepare to take the next six months and transform your life. This book doesn't need translated into English. It needs translated into American. And most of the Americans, <laughs> I got cheers and laughter about her. Most of the Americans that didn't like the book were saying the same thing. Well, I don't know what kind of fucking people in tiny ass houses they got in Japan. And she did. Because we, she says, you know, like a weekend, one go. She keeps saying one go every other damn sentence. One go. And Americans, we're hard workers, right? We'll work eight hour shift and then somebody doesn't come on. So we'll work another shift. So we'll work a sh 16 hour shift. Sometimes we will work three, three shifts in a row. Because we have to, because we'll get the job done. We're fucking hallucinating and talking to customers that aren't there. And I got, mm-hmm, can't confirm. But we will do it. We will do it. And we will have ways to get each other through it. Because by the time you're halfway through that second shift, you're going fucking insane. And if you try to go into a third shift, you know, or sometimes they throw in a third shift at the end of the day and they don't pay you for fun so you can get done the shit everybody else didn't do, that's fun. Um, I got mm -hmm, back here. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll work a 16-hour day. No problem. Just tell us we have to do it and we will do it. Don't tell an American clean your goddamn big American house and one go. We'll have a fucking mental breakdown. And she keeps talking about how you'll have honed your skills and have practice. And remember, within a couple of weeks, I went from beginning to end. And I was like, I must be really weak. I'm having so much trouble with this emotional, emotional stuff. And I'm sitting here, you know, wanting to have a good cry. She's talking about six months away. But then she keeps saying one go in my little tiny American brain. Heard one week, weekend, whatever, one month at most. And I kept apologizing to you guys because this process was taking so long. And I couldn't imagine why. I'm like, six months? That's a goddamn part-time job is what you took on. I got, yeah! Because you got work to go to, you got kids to take care of. If you got kids, you got things to do, you got events that are coming up, you got groceries to buy. Six goddamn months, you're not going to get anywhere with that. So I misinterpreted and did at least six months to a year or so of work because I think she said one client took a year because I'm really paying attention this time. I've only listened to it two, three times. And you know, I got it done within a couple weeks because Americans are overachievers. We might not be as smart as you. We might not be as beautiful as you, but we can work harder. And that's the one thing we're proud of. And Loki was, you know, Loki was giggling when I got it. And Mammon started making these weird wheezing sounds and had to walk away because he's not going to laugh in my face. And La Santa has been, you know, just really happy. And they had been trying to slow me down. And I didn't know why, because they were probably behind my back on, boy, Americans are dumb. It said six months in that one sentence, but it was only one sentence. It said six months in that, that, that sentence. And, you know, even if I had heard it the first two or three times I listened to this book, I probably went, no, nah, that's not right. It must be a hoarder she's talking about. <laughs> so... I got everything done in a matter of weeks. One second, please, guys. Allergy. Whew. Which is why I do have disabilities, which is why my body feels like I just wrecked on the ski slope and hit every damn rock on the way down. I've never skied, but I can imagine this is what it feels like because my body is completely thrashed. 
So we are going to make pizza tonight to celebrate because I tackled everything. I'd finally gotten everything in order and now it's just a matter of cleaning the rooms physically and, you know, attacking um, that laundry pile that all Americans have because you just have too much stuff and not enough closet space. And, you know, we're we're done. And I have, um, I should have went off by now, I have a, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing the bed too just to celebrate that we're truly done, that it the bed will be done because now it's just a matter of keeping the house clean but yep my dumb overachieving american ass misunderstood six months as one go because she keeps saying one go every other sentence so you know i thought you had to get this all done at once as fast as possible because she tells you you can't develop a habit well six months is a habit because it takes you two weeks to establish a new habit that's why you go at your new job or your new school week or your new diet for everything you got for two weeks because that two weeks should lock you into your new habit. Explains why I can't stop tidying now. So, <laughs> so I've been doing this for weeks so at least my home is super tidy and you know everything's gone but that's why I feel like I have mental and emotional whiplash. I was making a video for you guys last night, and I'm like, I don't know who I want to work with, and I don't know what I should give them. No wonder I feel crazy. I completed a six-month course in a couple weeks. I'm nuts right now. I'm certifiably insane, but look, he's going to take care of me. And I'm surprised not one of you said, you know, that should take six months to a year, right? Because I, either you guys didn't, you know, weren't interested in doing it, or you have perfectly tidy homes. I have no idea. Probably the latter. But, um, yeah, yeah, and the gods have all been laughing at me. They have all been having a good time laughing at this. So, even though I wrecked my body, which I do when I exercise too much, so it's, you know, I've been in car wrecks, I was hit by a car, blah, 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 blah. I've had a lot of excitement in my life, and once my body's thrash, it's thrash, but at least I know I am truly done at this point. From second story to this floor to the basement, everything is goddamn clean. And if anybody tries to give me anything to put in this house, pray bludgeon them to death. <laughs> unless it's a kitten, unless it's a kitten. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.